Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to do something just as important as what we covered in the last section. The topic in this section is titled uh, Subtracting Integers. So you know that integers are basically negative and positive numbers, just like in the, what we were doing in the last section. No decimal points, they're just the whole numbers, but they're negative, positive, and also zero. So instead of adding them, here we'll be subtracting them. But let me let you in on a little secret. I didn't really tell you this too much last section, but you've already been doing subtraction of integers, really. I mean, there's a couple of new things that we'll need to learn in this section, uh, one case that you've never seen before. But really, you've been subtracting integers already. And so let me give you a couple of examples of that, just to kind of give you a little, give you a little bit of motivation. Remember in the last section when we were adding integers, if I gave you something like 6 plus negative 3, you know how to do that, right? Because basically I taught you that anytime you're adding something together, if one of them is positive and one of them is negative, you always have to do a subtraction because one of these guys is negative. So I told you, go ahead and subtract the numbers. It uh, doesn't matter if the order is flipped, you're just still going to subtract the numbers and you're going to get the answer of 3. And the sign of the answer is always going to come from the larger absolute value. So this is positive, so it's positive 3. And I also taught you, uh, there toward the end of the section, that anytime you have uh, something plus a negative something else, this plus negative business here, it's exactly the same thing as just putting a minus sign in there. And then you already know that 6 minus 3 also gives you 3. So they're both very consistent. Sometimes you might see something written like this, uh, especially when it's not really numbers. When you have uh, variables, letters going or running around everywhere, then it would be very common for you to see, you know, you know, a plus negative b or something like that, or negative times some other expression that's going to be off over here on their other side, uh, you know, that's, that has letters in there. But when it's numbers, it kind of looks a little silly to put plus minus because when you think about what you're doing there, uh, I'm adding something to the number 6, but I'm not adding a, a big number. I'm not adding a positive number. I'm actually adding something that has like a, kind of like a deficit associated with it. You know, in other words, a negative number is when I owe you something else. So I may have had six pencils, but I'm adding to that the fact that I owe somebody else something else. So I'm not really adding a number that's making it larger, I'm adding something that I need to end up taking away anything anyway. And so that's why when you add a negative number, it's the same thing as just subtracting the number. Um, that's sort of the best way I can explain it. And so you need to get in the habit of anytime you see plus negative, it is subtraction. And so I just wanted to kind of show you that because you've already been doing subtraction of integers, really. There's a few cases we need to think about, obviously, that you haven't seen before but you've been doing it. So take a deep breath. Some people find this difficult, but I'm going to break it down for you so that it's not difficult. All right, so let's look uh, just like we've been doing before. Let's look at a few different cases and break it down just like uh, we've been doing before. So let's say you have uh, a positive number. Uh, subtract from that another positive number, right? So what would be some examples that would fall into this bucket? Well, these would be examples you've seen all, all your life. Here's a positive number, 4, minus 2, which is another positive number. And the answer to that is 2. I mean, these are, these are not rocket science. 3 minus 1 also gives you 2. Uh, 6 minus 3, we just did that one, gives you 3. So when you have a positive number and you subtract a positive number, right, in these cases that I have here on the board, these are just regular subtraction problems from first grade. So it's not like you haven't seen this kind of thing before. You just do the normal subtraction. Uh, as usual. But notice that I didn't really tell you this in the beginning, but I'll point 